Today, we're on our way to visit a family to spread some cheer. We're visiting a boy who is a quadriplegic and his mom. I'll bring the mirror over here. Yes, ma'am. They think we're coming to talk to them to understand how we can make things more convenient in their life with AT&T products and services. What they don't know <laughs> is that we really are coming to do much, much more that's gonna make their lives so much easier. Hi! Hi! How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to be here. Okay, here the he comes. Mr. Yadi in the house. When I was in high school, I was a wide receiver and a linebacker. At the time, I was bench president, like 285, and I was talking to a recruiter to go into the Marines. You know, I was just a regular kid, hanging out with my friends, driving around, you know, just living the American dream, just like any other kid would be. I got injured my junior year in high school. I was walking home, and someone hit, had hit me with their truck and they had left the scene after that. And I didn't even know where I was until two weeks later after I woke up out of a coma. Graduation came and went, his friends graduated, and a lot of them went off and joined the Navy, the Marines, uh, and went off to college. I was never told how bad my injury was. I kind of figured it out on my own. He's paralyzed from the neck down. He has very limited use and movement of his right arm. If his nose itches, he can't scratch it. If he sneezes, he can't blow his nose. When JD uses the computer, he uses a joystick to move along the letters of the alphabet and then puffs into it to actually select what he wants. It's such a long process. My heart just really goes out to JD because I realize how limited he is. JD is entirely dependent on others to take care of him for everything. And the person who does that day in and day out is his mother, Sherry. Tell me what your day is like. Well, in the morning, of course, I, I wake JD up. One, two, three, come to me. He needs hands all the time to help him and assist him in everything. All the things that we just do without even thinking and we do take for granted. Three. I do for him. I'm his hands. One, two, three. My mom has been doing this for me seven days a week, 365. Every day. And because she can't leave my side, my mom can't work. So we've been staying at my grandparents' house for the time being. So if you come down, watch your head here. On shower days, I think it's physically and mentally draining just because we don't have a uh, handicap accessible bathroom. So my mom has to go all the way downstairs in the basement, pick up this portable shower, lug it up the stairs from the basement, put it in the room, set it up. And then she has to take the shower nozzle and hook it up to the sink just so I can shower. When I put him in bed at night, about 10 minutes will go by and I'll hear a little voice come out. Say, Mom. And I go, yeah. <laughs> he goes, I'm sorry. I go, for what? What would you be sorry for? He goes, for everything that you gotta do for me. And I come over to him and I'll say, don't you ever apologize to me for anything ever again. My mom is the best person in the world. She's putting her life on hold so I can live mine. And it takes a lot of guts to do that. So JD and Sherry, I have something to tell you. AT&T has um, partnered with a bunch of really great people to do a lot of really great things for you guys. 
Alfano Renovations is gonna help us renovate your bathroom and shower and make it wheelchair accessible for JD. Oh my God, thank you so much. <laughs> and AT&T Aspire Mentoring is partnering with Network New York, New Jersey chapters and they're gonna get you a tutor and get you your GED. Oh my God. Are you serious? I'm gonna get your cheese. <laughs> you deserve it. I'm so happy for you. See, you gotta have faith, right? Thank you guys so much. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. While the bathroom was being renovated, AT&T did a lot of really incredible things for JD. Wow. JD is a New Jersey Devils fan, so we got him all access tickets to a game. Yeah, oh wow. Oh wow. I got to go on the ice and watch them play. I got to meet some legendary players. That is like the closest thing to heaven. I got to wear one of the Stanley Cup rings. Just being able to like leave the house and get treatment like that, it, it was surreal. We wanted to do something nice for Sherry. We took her to a local spa. They brought me to this room and gave me this amazing plush robe. There I go. When I put it on, I actually said, if I snuck out the window <laughs> in this robe, you think they noticed? And actually when I called her on the phone, she sounded exhausted. I'm like, are you all right? Did something happen? She's like, no, I'm extremely relaxed. I'm in no pain at all. And I was like, really happy that she was in uh, good spirits. Okay, guys, open your eyes and look down. Oh, nice. Oh my God. What a beautiful ramp. This is going to make a huge difference in uh, getting into places I normally wouldn't be able to get to, you know? We got JD speech to text software. When life gets hard, it brings the good out in you. He no longer has to puff into a straw to access things on the computer. Uh, so what's the answer? Seven, over 21, bingo. AT&T got me a tutor to uh, help me pass my GED, and he's also an AT&T employee. His name is Ben, and he's the master of disaster of math. JD is a remarkable person. Uh, he's always upbeat. He's always positive. He wants to go on to college. You know, he's trying to find his place in the world and a path for himself. You know, right now I'm a motivational speaker and I speak to kids all around the state to help prevent spinal cord injury and traumatic brain injury. I wasn't able to go to my prom. Unfortunately, I was in the hospital in a critical condition. So things like wearing a seatbelt and don't text and drive, it could wait. It's better be safe than sorry. At the end of the day, I really just want to make a difference. When he got in the shower, the whole time he was just beaming, smiling, and he kept saying, I can't believe I have on my own shower. Mom, can you believe this? I got my own shower. <laughs> the new bathroom makes me feel like a human again. I could go into the bathroom if I want to. I can brush my teeth at the sink. Just having hot water on me for a longer period of time is so genuine and it feels great. Psychologically, it's helped him. Physically, it's helped me. My mom doesn't have to lug up that old portable shower anymore. All she has to do now is just roll me right into the shower. It's a life changer. He'll say, I'm richer today, mom, because everybody at at and haven't been so nice to us. The opportunities that they've given to show that he matters, he's very grateful.